It was the dawn of the 20th century, a time of burgeoning possibilities. San Francisco was rapidly growing, having transformed from a small settlement to a bustling metropolis. Yet it was estranged from its neighboring counties by the strait known as the Golden Gate. The treacherous stretch of water prevented direct road communication, making travel and commerce a time-consuming affair. There was a necessity, a shared dream amongst the people, a bridge that would link the San Francisco Peninsula with the Marin Headlands. The concept of a bridge across the Golden Gate Strait was first proposed in 1872 by Charles Crocker, a railroad tycoon. However, the idea seemed too audacious, too bold, perhaps impossible. The strait's breadth, the harsh winds, the deep, turbulent waters, and the earthquakes were formidable challenges. For a long time, Crocker's vision remained a mere pipe dream, daunting and unreachable. The Great Depression of the 1930s brought a drastic change in the people's perspective. Amidst unemployment and financial despair, the bridge was seen as an opportunity for jobs and growth. Engineer Joseph Strauss, with an unwavering spirit, convinced authorities that his design was not only feasible but would also be a symbol of American perseverance and ingenuity. His initial design was criticized for aesthetic reasons. Leon Moisite, the architect of the Manhattan Bridge, suggested a suspension design that would be both elegant and capable of withstanding the strait's harsh conditions. Irving Morrow, a relatively unknown residential architect, contributed to the aesthetic design, including the distinctive international orange color and the Art Deco styling. In 1933, the construction of the Golden Gate Bridge began. The men who undertook this formidable task were nicknamed, Halfway to Hell Club, members. This name was given because of the dangerous nature of their work, suspending high above the frigid, churning waters of the strait, with gusty winds for company. Yet, they took on the challenge with an uncanny sense of optimism and unwavering determination. Building the bridge required not just physical strength, but also mathematical precision and engineering expertise. The tower on the San Francisco side had to be constructed in open water, as the strait at that point is too deep to reach the bedrock. Divers were sent to the depths to blast away loose rock and make a flat surface for the tower. Meanwhile, a net was hung beneath the floor of the bridge during construction. It was a safety innovation suggested by Strauss, who was deeply concerned about the welfare of his workers. The net saved 19 men from plummeting to their deaths, reinforcing the camaraderie amongst the team and giving them the confidence to continue their daring work. The bridge's construction was a symphony of coordination, from blacksmiths shaping individual rivets to high scalers dangling from ropes to remove loose rock and apply paint, everyone had their role. Amidst roaring winds and rising tides, they danced their dangerous ballet, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. With two colossal towers standing firm, the next step was the most precarious one, stringing the cable. The cables, the veins of the bridge, were to be laid across the vast expanse of the strait. The main cable, consisting of 27,572 strands of wire, was enough to encircle the earth three times. On May 27, 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge was inaugurated. It was pedestrian day, and around 200,000 people walked across before vehicles were allowed the following day. A colossal human endeavor had been realized, connecting two once isolated regions and symbolizing the resolve of a nation. The Golden Gate Bridge stood as a beacon of hope amidst the despair of the Depression. It was a symbol of human resilience, a monument to engineering brilliance, a testament to the fact that the impossible could be made possible through collective effort, ingenuity, and perseverance. Throughout the years, the Golden Gate Bridge has been an iconic figure, a muse for artists, photographers, and filmmakers. Its majestic structure and stunning international orange, contrasting with the blue waters, foggy skies, and verdant surrounding landscapes, have inspired countless artworks and photographs. The bridge has been a critical filming location too. In movies like Alfred Hitchcock's, Vertigo, The Maltese Falcon, and more recently in blockbuster superhero movies, the bridge has often been dramatically portrayed. Its grandeur, and sometimes its perilous nature, have been themes of fascination for many filmmakers. Over the years, the bridge has not only served as a critical transportation link but also as a gathering spot for various events. It has seen innumerable marathons, protests, and celebrations. It stands as a symbol of unity, bringing people together in times of joy, demand, and support. Yet, the Golden Gate Bridge has its share of dark tales. It has an undesired reputation as a spot for suicides. 
The bridge authorities, along with several organizations, have taken steps to prevent such tragedies, including crisis counseling and installing a suicide deterrent net. Maintenance of the bridge is a continuous process. The salty sea air, high winds, and moisture demand constant upkeep. The painter's crew works year-round to touch up areas with corroded paint, ensuring the bridge remains in its vibrant international orange hue, making it visible to ships even in thick fog. Despite the passage of time and the introduction of newer, grander structures worldwide, the Golden Gate Bridge holds its own. It stands as a testament to the audacity of the human spirit, the will to dream big, the courage to overcome adversities, and the capability to turn visions into reality. The bridge, at the time of its construction, was the longest suspension bridge in the world. Although it no longer holds this title, it remains one of the most recognized symbols of San Francisco, California, and the United States. Its unique combination of utility, design, and symbolic value gives it a timeless appeal. Every year, millions of tourists flock to San Francisco to see the Golden Gate Bridge. Whether they cross it by car, by bike, or on foot, they marvel at its magnificence and the spectacular panoramic views it offers. The sight of the bridge emerging from the fog is a magical spectacle that leaves a lasting impression. Beyond its utility and beauty, the Golden Gate Bridge serves as a symbol of the city's resilience. It has withstood several significant earthquakes since its construction, a testament to its robust design. Engineers and architects from around the world study the bridge as an example of how to build structures that can survive in seismic hotspots. The bridge also stands as a sentinel to history, witnessing the evolution of San Francisco and the surrounding areas. From the Great Depression to World War II, from the counterculture movement of the 1960s to the tech boom, the bridge has silently observed the changing cityscape and the shifting dynamics of society. When World War II began, the bridge played a critical role as a transportation link for military personnel and materials. In the fear of a potential attack on the West Coast, the bridge was heavily guarded. This period of history added another layer of significance to the Golden Gate Bridge. Throughout the years, the Golden Gate Bridge has had its fair share of modifications to accommodate growing traffic and safety regulations. From the installation of a movable median barrier to prevent head-on collisions to the conversion of car lanes into bicycle lanes, the bridge has evolved while retaining its original charm. Despite being an engineering marvel, the Golden Gate Bridge was not devoid of controversies. Besides the initial skepticism about its feasibility, there were numerous legal battles, notably from ferry companies fearing the loss of business. The journey from concept to completion was long, arduous, fraught with obstacles, yet ultimately triumphant. As we enter the 21st century's third decade, the bridge faces new challenges, climate change, increasing traffic, aging infrastructure. These challenges require innovative solutions that balance preservation and progress, ensuring the bridge continues to serve as a vital link and an iconic landmark. The Golden Gate Bridge is more than a bridge, it's a storyteller. Each rivet, each cable, each tower has a story to tell, tales of those who dreamed of it, those who built it, those who marveled at it, and those who found solace in it. As day turns to night, the Golden Gate Bridge takes on a new persona. Illuminated by strategically placed lights, the bridge shines like a beacon, guiding ships through the foggy strait. The sight of the bridge against the starlit sky is an enchanting spectacle, adding to the myriad of images that the bridge has inspired. Today, the Golden Gate Bridge stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and persistence. Against the odds, and in the face of numerous challenges, engineers, architects, and laborers turned an audacious dream into reality. As we approach the end of our journey, it's crucial to remember that the Golden Gate Bridge is more than just a feat of engineering. It's a symbol of ambition, resilience, and unity. Its towers stand tall, not just in concrete and steel, but in the hearts of those who dared to dream. The last decade has seen a renewed commitment to preserving the Golden Gate Bridge for future generations. Various retrofitting and maintenance projects are continually undertaken, ensuring its longevity. As a new generation of dreamers and builders inherits this iconic structure, it remains a source of inspiration and pride. The bridge's legacy also extends to the environmental conservation efforts in the surrounding areas. The Golden Gate National Recreation Area, which includes the Marin Headlands, has been designated as a protected area, conserving the unique biodiversity of the region. Thus, the bridge is not only an architectural wonder but also a gateway to environmental stewardship.
As we look back at the bridge's illustrious history, we realize that it was not just about constructing a transportation link. It was about fostering connections, promoting unity, and symbolizing a city's strength. The Golden Gate Bridge, with its radiant orange hue and majestic towers, represents the spirit of San Francisco. Until we meet again, farewell.